Hi everybody, David Katzmeyer from CNET here with the Panasonic TCL E60. This is a LCD TV, actually it's one of the entry level ones in Panasonic's line, but it's the very first Panasonic LCD LED TV in the last couple of years that we can really recommend. Uh, this TV is available in a 42, a 50, a 58, and a 65 inch size. This video review will apply to all of them. We'll start with the design, this TV is extremely minimalist, it really kind of tries to blend into the room. The uh, edge around the screen is exceedingly thin, like a lot of the modern LED TVs today. You look at it from the side, the cabinet is also really thin. I also appreciate the low profile that keeps the TV pretty compact above the stand. The stand doesn't offer any swivel. The only real accent is a small strip of transparent plastic, all told one of the most understated TVs we've seen. The features on the E60 are pretty middle of the road. It does include a smart TV suite, however, that has Panasonic's typical excellent selection of content. That includes Netflix, Amazon Instant, Vudu, and pretty much every other major service except for HBO Go, which is a Samsung exclusive. Wasn't a big fan of the design of the smart TV, however, it's a little bit busy. There's multiple pages, but getting to those multiple pages isn't as intuitive as I'd like to see. You can design your own page and put uh, the kind of apps that you want on that page. The customization is really nice, but all told, it's a step behind the smart TV suites of LG and Samsung. This TV is also a 120 hertz model. That means it does have smoothing, unlike some of the other so-called 120 hertz models on sale today. In addition to smoothing, there's also a wide range of picture adjustments, although we found that the basic controls work relatively well in this set. On the side panel, you'll find three HDMI, two USB, and a single analog input, which is pretty typical for this range of television. The thing we really liked about the mid-priced E60 was its picture quality. This LED TV delivers a nice, deep, inky shade of black, which, again, among TVs at this price range is relatively rare. We also appreciated the nice, bright room picture on this television. If you have a lot of light in your room, its screen rejects reflections relatively well. It preserves those nice, deep black levels. Color and video processing were also very good, although not great. It does, of course, suffer the off-angle and slight uniformity issues that uh, plague some LED TVs, but again, not bad compared to the crop. Of course, compared to a plasma TV, the off-angle and uniformity isn't perfect, but again, very good for an LED TV. The one fly on this TV's performance that doesn't have anything to do with the picture is sound quality. It's really among the worst sounding TVs we've heard, but again, at this price, you can afford to add an external sound system and not be too far behind. That's a quick look at Panasonic's TCL E60 LED TV. I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET.